What are some of the biggest threats you see on the horizon that maybe people are not thinking so much about? Like, for example, if you ask anybody, what are some of the biggest threats? Everybody is going to say ransomware right now. Everybody I've talked to says ransomware. So I hope that that's not your answer. That might be one of the biggest threats, but like what's coming, what kind of thing are we not looking at that, you know, we're all focused on one thing and maybe something down the line we should be thinking about. Yeah, I think I think because uh, you know you use the word threat, that probably does lead people to things like ransomware because it, it puts visions in your head of you know things you should be afraid of. But I'm more concerned about the things that most people probably aren't afraid of yet, right? Because they don't really understand the magnitude of them. And again, right, I'll kind of take cloud computing as an example here. We're really trying to do computing on a global scale. We have a number of cloud service providers and telco providers, et cetera. All these networks and all these systems are going to be linked together. We're going to be running software and having our data in systems, you know, that may be on the other side of the globe at some particular time of day or be duplicated in multiple parts of the globe, whether we think it's in our enterprise or in a cloud or both at the same time. That massive scale is the part that I'm worried about because now any little vulnerability can be magnified because most likely we're using these same technologies everywhere else. So the break once run everywhere problem is gonna be huge. And that means we have to pay much more attention and focus a lot more on, again, getting back to assurance, right? That's why it's so important to focus on assurance. If we can even get to the level of being able to prove some capabilities. I think we've kind of gotten away from that as an industry for a while, but hopefully getting back into formal methods that will allow us to prove that the architecture is at least correct, right? If not the implementation itself, 